guys, it's Sabina, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel, and make sure to subscribe. If you can't tell by the title of this video, my Sarah's Day shirt, and I was gonna start this video with an Australian accent, but I can't do an Australian accent. I'm gonna be eating like a Sarah's Day for a week. For a week. <laughs> wow, no, for a day. I'm gonna be eating like Sarah's Day for a day. You probably know who Sarah's Day is. If you're into health and fitness, then you know. Sarah's Day. She's an Australian YouTuber influencer who's really into health and fitness and she actually started her channel to document her skin journey but it turned into now what it is a health and fitness channel and her channel is very open and honest and she is definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. So I thought it would be a super fun video if I tried to eat like her for a day. This morning I did two of her online workouts. I did her boxing workout, which is my favorite of all of her real-time workouts. And I also did a core Pilates workout. Usually before her workouts, she'll have a coffee. But I'm gonna have my coffee with breakfast. And also she has her own product, which is a body bloom which is good for your gut health. Sadly, I don't have that. So we're gonna have to skip that part of her routine. But let's get on with breakfast. Since you normally has something savory for breakfast, which if you know me, I that's not how I roll. So this is gonna be a little bit different for me, but I'm excited and I'm hungry. <laughs> so we're gonna have avo toast with hard boiled eggs and some cucumber. We're starting off with a slice of sprouted bread. I'm pretty sure that Sarah is gluten-free and dairy-free. I know she's dairy-free. Yeah, she's definitely gluten-free. Yeah, so we're gonna start off with a slice of sprouted bread and then some avocado. We toasted our bread and I realized I should have been saying brekkie instead of breakfast because it's how I say it in Australia. So honestly, avocado actually gives me a stomach ache if I eat. <gasps> If I eat. <gasps> anyway, as I was saying, avocado sometimes gives me a stomach ache if I eat too much of it. I don't know if this avocado is gonna be good. So I'm just not gonna have too much of the avocado. Oh wow, it's actually a really nice avocado. See? This color is so nice. It looks so pretty and springy summery. On, I think it was her most recent video, she showed, she showed she has two eggs with her avocado toast, her avo toast. And she also showed this way that she cracks the eggs so it comes off smooth, like the shell comes off smoothly, smoothly. She says she gets a bowl of water in the sink and I think she cracks one end of it. And then, does she start peeling it? Maybe? Make small cracks all around it. I don't think I'm doing this right. Oh, so it kind of did come off in like one whole thing. And there definitely weren't any holes in it, so I guess it did work. I'm gonna cut some cucumber, slice it. <laughs> slices. And I'm gonna add a pinch of sea salt on top. And here's breakfast. It looks so pretty. Wait, no, I got it. And now I'm gonna have my coffee. I kinda wanna froth the almond milk, but I don't think this almond milk that I have right now really froths well. The other Trader Joe's kind froths better. All right, not really. Okay, the coffee in. Now it's time to eat. Okay, but look at the color of the avocado and the cucumber here. Oh my god, it looks stunning. After all the pictures and stuff. Mm, let's go. I'll see you when it's time for lunch. 
Hey guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually the next day. <laughs> I got a really bad stomach ache after the avocado toast, which I should know, I should know by now not to eat avocados, but did it for the video. Did it for you guys. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna continue with this video. It's lunchtime and I'm gonna have one of Sezi's smoothies. She says that recently she's been snacking throughout the day and just grazing because she's taste testing recipes for her app so she doesn't really have a traditional lunch i guess usually but i do and she also makes this smoothie a lot for a snack and i guess i'm gonna use that as my lunch sarah says she likes her smoothies pretty thin and you could tell that from her videos but i'm the opposite and i like thick smoothies anyway let's make our smoothie While I did my research for this what I eating like Sarah's day, she said that around three she normally likes to have a smoothie and that's when her sweet tooth kicks in and she'll either have a green smoothie or a caramel smoothie. Or sometimes I feel like she has a chocolate smoothie, so I'm gonna make a chocolate smoothie. She normally has maca powder in hers, but I got rid of mine recently. Adding in my almond milk. And I'm throwing in some cacao powder. Like I said, she normally has different Tropica proteins. I know she has like a vanilla one that looks good and a chocolate one, but um, I don't have those. I'm gonna put some almond butter in. I'm using frozen bananas. If I can like get them apart. Now it's time to blend it. like a frosty, healthy frosty. If you've seen my What I Eat in a Week, so you've seen me do this before, but I actually got it from Sarah's Day. So she takes some chia seeds and pours them on top. <laughs> that was a lot. Anyway, of her smoothie and then mixes it in. I like it because like you get to chew and like crunch on them. I'm going to enjoy this now, and I'll see you when it's snack time. Mmm, it's really thick. <laughs> now I'm drinking my smoothie we're watching, Sezzy. Anyway, guys, while I We're back for snack time, and for a snack, sometimes Sarah will have protein balls or maybe some homemade healthy cookies. I know that she has her own or had, I'm not sure if she still has her own protein balls. In honor of those, I'm gonna make some homemade protein balls. I know this background must be getting boring for you guys being in the same spot. I don't know, there's nowhere else to be. <laughs> so I'm gonna add in five dates. This is just a recipe that I found online. Gonna add in some peanut butter. I'm gonna add some cacao powder now. And some chia seeds. I'm gonna roll them in some coconut for decoration too. And that's also how her protein balls are. chocolate peanut butter protein bites with coconut on top. I'm gonna put these in the fridge and have them for later. And now it's dinner time. Sezi says she normally eats between 5.30 and 6, but 6.30 now. <laughs> in one of the videos I watched, she had a Mexican bowl with um, ground beef and I'm gonna have one with a ground turkey. I'm gonna make my version of it. I think she had rice and a salad. I'm gonna add some salt, pepper, and a little bit of cumin. I know it's not a Mexican bowl because there's not the Mexican spices in it, but this is my version of it, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna 
heat up the rice, some lettuce. She had avocado on hers, but we know how that turned out before, so I'm not gonna add avocado to mine. <laughs> See how good it looks? looks? So pretty and colorful. I'm gonna try it now while we're here. Mm. I'm gonna cut it up, mess it up, and eat it all together. I've changed and it's dessert time. Sezi Norm says that she likes to have granola, homemade granola with almond milk and frozen berries and some honey for dessert. So that sounds really good and that's what I'm gonna have. Also, that Mexican bowl, that was good. That was really good. Here's my granola. It's kind of burnt, <laughs> but some parts still taste good. So I'm gonna put in frozen blueberry. Though I do prefer it just with the granola and the almond milk and without the agave and the frozen berries, but it's good. <laughs> I guess that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you wanna see me eating like any other kind of YouTuber or celebrity. See you next week, bye.